And that's why things aren't going well for you, and so don't lay that at my feet, which is the most brutal possible message he could have got. And so then he leaves the presence of God, let's say, and it says in the story that his countenance fell, which meant he was basically enraged. And so what does he do? He goes out and kills Abel. And then that's, that's a very fascinating idea because Abel is his ideal, so he kills his ideal. And when you kill your ideal, you're lost. And then he does that to take revenge on Abel, but also to take revenge on God, which I think is extremely interesting and, and a deep, deep idea. Like these kids who shoot up high schools, for example, you cannot understand what they're doing unless you understand this story of Cain and Abel. You cannot understand what possesses them until you can understand that someone, even someone who doesn't believe, it doesn't matter, it's the psychological state of mind that matters, is they're out for revenge on being itself. And that's why they produce as much mayhem as possible in the shortest period of time.